Hey YouTube, I recently um, wanted to find a, a cheap way of counting distance by counting rotation um, and found online that um, you can use the hard drive mode for this by counting its um, the electromagnetic pulses from its brushless motor. Um, so let me show you how uh, I built it. So this is my proto circuit. Um, it's quite messy so apologies. Uh, let me describe each part for you. So this is a hard drive. I've stripped it out uh, so it doesn't have um, any of its um, heads or armature or magnetic parts. So it's just the motor. And we've got three cables, three leads, soldered to uh, the three pins coming off the motor. Some drives use four pin motors. Um, there are um, schematics online about how to interface with those. Um, but in my case, it's three leads. Uh, two are used for signal and one for reference. So moving on to the proto board. Um, this here is uh, just a, an old blown nano. Um, some of the analog inputs are blown, so I'm just using that to program the Pro Mini. The signal path, um, basically, the signal comes in uh, through this cable here. It then goes into um, uh, uh, an op amp IC, which is a, um, I believe it's a 324 or a 326 or something like that, which has four op amp circuits inside it. Uh, two were used in this uh, project. Basically, uh, the signal comes into here, the op amp op op uh, amplifies the signal. It's then fed into a couple of uh, digital inputs on the uh, Arduino. You'll see in the code in the description which pins they are. Next is the screen. Uh, it's a uh, standard 16 by 2 display uh, with a I squared C um, serial backpack soldered to it. So it has four cables, two for power, two for signal. And on the Pro Mini, this is an eBay version of a Pro Mini, so there's, the, the, the pins aren't quite the same, but on my particular one, um, analog four and five are the, uh, the data bus for the uh, display. So let me show you in action. Essentially, let me put this here for contrast. So spin the disc one way, numbers go up. Spin it the other way, numbers come down. This is basically showing um, a PWM output, which um, would have been used to control the brightness of an LED. So um, it's just being printed to screen. So basically the increments, the numbers increment um, based on a range of 0 to 1 uh, to 255. Now, the drive motor isn't as accurate as a proper encoder um, because it's quite sensitive to speed. So if you turn it really slowly, you can see it kind of freaks out. If you wiggle it, sort of in one place, like as if you're scratching a deck. It sometimes goes up and down by one increment, but sometimes it jumps several steps. Um, now it could be down to um, the fact that my code is very basic and it's just a um, just a loop, uh, checking the state of the pins. It's not an interrupt based uh, code. So it could be missing steps um, and whatnot, but um, I mean it's great for you know any kind of UI projects. So where you have uh, where you need to add user interface to your Arduino, it'd be quite cool to use this <laughs> spinning platters of a hard drive. Um, I even thought about sort of cutting a hole in the top of the drive uh, case and and putting the screen in here, and using that for something. But for my particular application, it's not accurate enough. Um, but it's good fun nonetheless. Anyway, if you have any questions, post a comment and I'll try and answer. Thanks for watching.